What's going on everybody and welcome to another video. As you can see, I still have the RX-8. Um, however, this is kind of a bittersweet video. Um, I've kind of decided that I am going away from the K-Swap um, version of this car. And uh, for those of you who are following this uh, channel specifically for that build, I do apologize. Um, however, there's been some mm, very thoughtful decisions made uh, based off this decision. Um, and that being, when I was in Colorado, I'm just gonna make this as short as possible. When I was in Colorado, I was getting in the drift scene. I bought this car to continue to do the drift scene and that's where the K series came in. Um, <clears throat> that being said, I moved back to Oklahoma and although it is doable, I know it's doable. The closest drift track is like three and a half, four hours from me. And although, like I said, I know it's doable. I just didn't really feel comfortable with doing that. Um, and that I've, you know, over the past year to two years, I've continued to buy parts for this thing, but I just had no motivation on working on it. So I'm still keeping the car, but we're going a different route. I'm either going to, now hear me out. I know a lot of people don't like LS. I'm either going to do an LS swap, which where I'm from, a lot of people are familiar with those types of motors. So that's my thought process behind it. And when it comes to working on cars, man, I love working on cars, but I would much rather work on it with somebody else, if that makes sense. I just get more enjoyment out of it. And if I can get somebody that enjoys working on the same types of motors, then, then that might be the route I'm going. Um, but as far as like the K, the K series went, like no one around me knew what the hell was going on with that motor. So no one wanted to help work on it. They just didn't understand. I had one person and you know, he was still kind of like, not sure. So that's the, the idea behind it. So I'm either going to do that or even though I just said that the reason I like to work on it is for help because people know that kind of motor or Jay-Z swap. When I was working on the S12, man, I loved it. I loved that one Jay-Z. I loved the sound. I loved the, po the power that it gave. Like everything about that motor just is phenomenal to me. So it's either, it's either one of those two. I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but it's also not going to be like a next year thing. It's, I'm going to take the time to do as much research as I can um, to figure out what route I want to go, whether it be the LS or the Jay-Z swap. Um, with that being said, I still want to do YouTube stuff and we're going to do some fishing. So my channel is going to be converted to fishing stuff for now. Um, eventually it'll be like a combo of fishing and automotive or, or I might just make a separate channel for automotive itself. I do have a truck out back that uh, I had to work on. Um, I bought it not too long ago for really cheap and uh, it's got some stuff that I need to work on. So, you know, I'll be tinkering with that a little bit. Um, but that's probably the only automotive stuff unless family, friends come over, whatever, need to use the lift. Maybe I can record some of that and, and put some of that footage up. But as for now, like I said, I'm trying to make this video short as possible. We're going to be doing some fishing stuff. Um, let's go check out the boat here. And I'll go more in depth. Um, it's a 2014 Triton. I just got a new uh, Echo Map Ultra 106 SV. It's a Garmin. I got it installed and we're going to be doing some fishing. Bass fishing. That's what I love. I love the most is bass fishing. So I do have a little scamp over in the back, as you can see here, we might do some like pond fishing as well. But for the most part, I want to try to get out on Lake Tim Killer and uh, some of these other big lakes that are around here. I've always, always loved fishing, but I never had the boat to go out on the big lakes. I just had, you know, the little, little skint back there to go on ponds and stuff. And I wanted to do more, um, 
of the the lake stuff so we're going to get into that um but as far as as far as that goes i just wanted to let you guys know and inform y'all um i do apologize like i said i understand if you don't want to follow this channel anymore if you were only here for the case swap um but if you do that i'm going to leave a description or a link in the description below of a facebook page that has the case swapped rx8 <clears throat> as far as or as well as like the next few videos i'll continue to leave that in the link down below that way you guys can if you are still interested in it you can follow that facebook channel there's a lot of great people out there they have a lot of information there's a guy on there that has his built and i think it gets over 600 horsepower so you know i mean these things are phenomenal for putting out power so i'll leave that in the description below like i said go give them a follow if you're looking to continue to stay informed about that swap because there's a lot of great information out there. Anyway, I'm going to leave it to that. This is already a six minute video, well over what I wanted to do. Um, say goodbye to the RX-8 for a while. It'll still be here, but <laughs> I ain't working on it anymore. Anyways, thanks guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.